Hey, um, you know, obviously being able to get the sack tonight, just how did you see that play develop and, and, and what did that kind of mean to be able to get that first one, even if it is the preseason? Uh, honestly, I don't remember the play. Uh, I was just trying to rush hard. Later, I had to look at the film to uh, see exactly what play it is. But I was just trying to rush hard and I just seen myself come free and I seen him sitting there and he went to duck a little bit. And all I remember is just like trying to flip my hips to get my body to going towards him. But I just stuck my arm out and it was kind of like the clothesline. And then I kind of wrapped him up after he stopped momentum. I wrapped him up and then, you know, first one came. It was happy. I was happy. Every The, the crowd was like, you know, rumbling. Uh, it was just like, it was mind blowing for me because, you know, I got my first sack in the NFL, even though it is preseason, it's still the first one. Bill Huber, go ahead. Hey, TJ, um, how did the week go for you? Obviously, you've been, you've been going with the starters against their guys and you against the starters. Uh, you're breaking up a little bit, but uh, I think the week went well, uh, you know, coming in, having them come in and practice with us with two days. Uh, Felt like it was great, you know, finally get some different competition than other than yourself throughout the week. Uh, but other than that, I think it was good, you know, going against their ones uh, during the game. We went up, we went up against their ones for a while. Uh, so I felt like that, you know, that translated. You see different things that they do, and then you know, come to the game, you're trying to transfer from practice to the game. So I think it went pretty well. Tom Silverstein, go ahead. DJ, in, in college, were you uh, basically allowed to just shoot gaps, to get upfield, do whatever you can to, to destroy, disrupt? And is it different here? Do you have to be, you know, read things a little uh, more here? No. In college, <laughs> in college, I was always told to stay in your gap, but get vertical. Push the pocket, but stay in your gap. Uh, here is more just get off the rock. Push the ball, get off the rock, get your hints from the get your hints that you can get from the backfield, and just tee off. Shoot your hands and tee off. So does that feel more free here, or or you know? Uh, it's 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 more of the same. It's just like they're just not so based on just like stand stand in your gap, stand in your gap. It's just more just knocking somebody off the ball and just being disruptive with your hands and you know playing with your hands. Make sure you get your eyes in the right place. Uh, more in college, it was just more just getting vertical and just like get stay in your gap, but get vertical. Wes Hadkowitz, go ahead. TJ, I think last week you played 46 defensive snaps. I'm guessing you're probably up there again, you know, based on some of the sweat now. Uh, I just I wanted to know um, how is that managing that kind of workload? And, and also, what do you think that those sort of snaps do for you as as you look to develop here on Green Bay's defensive line? Uh, well, I mean, what they do for me is, you know, get me more in shape, get your cardio up more because you get to play more snaps. But uh, my senior year of college, uh, it was no different than the snaps I'm getting now. I was, you know, so used to playing 60 plus snaps. Now just playing like, you know, 20 less or you feel me, 15 less. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that hard on the body, but it is hard on the mental, you know, trying to stay focused when you're fatigued and when you're out there. But you just want to push the pocket, you know, make tackles on the run because if you're out there, you're out there. You got to go hard no matter what. So that's just what it is. Uh, playing all the reps, feel like I feel like it doesn't really phase me, but it just gets me in shape better. Bill Huber, go ahead. Hey, TJ, you've been um, pretty darn good here since the first day. Was that the expectation when you got here? Or did you have to, or did you have to prove that to yourself that you know that that you can play with these guys? Uh, that was the expectation when I first got here. Uh, they knew what I can do. Uh, I know what I can do. It's just more of just playing with more effort. You know, giving more time into the things you're doing, uh, more studying. So <laughs> it's more studying. It's just more things you got to do to go into it. You know, it's not like you're in college anymore when you. You have an excuse because you have school. Now it's just like it's all football. So if if you want to be the best and you want to prove that you can play, you got to put the time in. Tom Silverstein, go ahead. Can you hear me, TJ? 
Yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, it seems like one guy you played a lot on the line with is Jack Heflin. Do you? Yes, sir. Do, yeah. Have you guys kind of developed, uh, um, you know, a chemistry there and, and what can you say about the way he's performed? Uh, I feel like I have a chemistry with everybody. It's just a hey, coach just chose Jack, you know, to be in there more often with me. Uh, as you can see today, we uh, we sat uh, Tyler uh, down and we brought Kiki along. So it was us us two out there with Kiki. But uh, Jack's hell of a player, man. Uh, I love him. Very smart guy. Uh, if you don't see things, if you don't see things right away, he'll see them. Uh, very vocal. And when it comes to uh, getting the calls and the different shifts and the formations that we get when we're out there. But automatically, he's a great football player to me. Uh, it's just like that's just how it is, you know. Me and him just always just end up in end up in there together. But uh, other than that, like he's he's uh, phenomenal. I, I like playing with him. I like playing with everybody we got. Uh, just I feel like there is a relationship thing there, building there. But hey, uh, we still got to go out there and play football. <laughs> Anyone else have any more questions for TJ? Bill Huber, go ahead. Hey TJ, um, whether it's Kenny or Jerry, have you guys talked about how good did how good you guys can be up front with what you've added, and obviously Kenny and Dean being there? Um, we have talked about being, you know, how good we could be, and we know we want to be the best. Uh, but you know, right now we're just gonna keep working, uh, and then when the season come around, we're gonna see.